Hi. Now in this part we're asked to solve the equation f of x equals 0 using this iterative formula x subscript n plus 1 equals a third e to the power minus x subscript n and our starting value x0 is equal to 0.25. Now if you want to know how by the way they got this iterative formula I'll show you at the end of the uh, video. Not that you have to prove this, but on occasion, sometimes you have to show how they get an iterative formula. So it might be just worthwhile uh, going to the end of the video where I show you how they got this. But nonetheless, okay, let's just see how we get the next three approximations to the root x1, x2, and x3, which we've got to find to four decimal places. So to get x1 what we need to do is basically take when n equals 0. When n equals 0 you're going to have x0 plus 1 that would be x1 so you have the first or next approximation I should say because we've already got the first approximation x0 is 0.25 x1 will be one third then of e to the power minus x and n is 0 so that would be minus x0. And what's that going to be? Well it's going to be one third then of e to the minus 0 0.25 and if you do this on your calculator what you should find you get is 0 0.259600 and so on. So that to four decimal places that's going to be 0.2596 to 4dp. Now we could carry on like this just by substituting these values in to get x2. All we need to do is just say when n equals 1 we're going to get x2 because we're going to have x1 add 1 x2 and that's going to equal 1 third e to the minus x whatever n is and n is 1 so it's minus x1 and x1 was this value 0 0.259600 and so on. Don't use this rounded up version by the way because it's likely that you'll end up with uh, accuracy uh, errors okay don't use rounded up values. If you work that out anyway on your calculator you'll get another decimal minus 0 0.259600 no you won't that was the one I had before okay what you actually end up with so if you do this on your calculator you're going to end up with 0 0.257119 and so on and again if we do this by setting n equal to 2 you'll get x3 in a similar way it's going to be one third e to the minus 0.257119 and if you run that through on your calculator you'll find you get 0.257758 and so on. Remember we have to give these to four decimal places, I didn't give that last one to four decimal places but to four decimal places it's going to be 0 0.2571, let's just put 4dp there and for this one this is going to equal 0 0.2578 to 4dps. Now when you do questions like this, to be fair if I was doing it I wouldn't really set it out like this. It's not worth that many marks, we're just interested in getting these answers, but this is just a breakdown just to show you how it you know how we arrive at these answers. So, how would I have done it? Well, basically, if you've got a calculator, a scientific calculator, you should be able to use the answer button, often written ANS. And what I would do is I would first of all enter 0 0.25 into my calculator. I just type in 0 0.25. Let's just write this down for you. Okay, put 0 0.25 into your calculator and then just press 
the enter button okay um, or you maybe if you haven't got an enter button there just press equals okay I think really that's most probably on most calculators now this 0.25 is really what is called the answer the answer button it the calculator stores that all you've got to do now is just type in your iterative formula so I would most probably type in something like e to the power minus answer all divided by 3 look I'll show you I'll put e to the power minus answer okay press the answer button there then divided by and the division will be like this most probably divided by 3 now every time you press equals when you press equals next time what you'll find you get is or you should find you get is this answer 0 0.2596 let's just put that in 0 0.2596 not not and so on and then when you press equals again you should find that you get the next answer in this case the 0 0.25711 Oh, missed that out there. 0.257119 and so on. And press equals again and you should find you get the next value. 0 0.257758 and so on. So that's the way that I would do this question. But I leave it up to you obviously to make a decision which way you want to do it. I did say I'd show you how they got the iterative formula at the end so what we'll do is we'll just do this down here remember that f of x was equal to 3x e to the power x minus 1 and when f of x equals 0 let's just put this in here when f of x equals 0 what we've got is therefore 3x e to the x minus 1 would equal 0 and if we make this x here the subject of the formula by adding 1 to both sides and dividing by 3 e to the x what you'll end up with is x equals 1 over 3 e to the x and what they've done is that 1 over e to the x becomes e to the minus x so you end up with x equaling 1 third e to the minus x and to turn this into an iterative formula we just enter the subscripts n plus 1 there so that'd be x to the n plus 1 we'll just shift that over a little bit and then one third e to the minus x with a little subscript n there okay 